Refugees in Canada, they're still coming in. Trudeau, he says, I'm going to keep on bringing them in. I'm not going to do any background checks because we're in a rush to get them here. And hey, it's only going to cost a couple of billion dollars if you have a beef. Keep it to yourself. Are you with me still? You know, there's a woman here in Halifax. She's kind of put herself out there as being the, I don't know, the poster child for this system. She says, hey, I've written a check for $2,000 and I'm a liberal and I'm so proud of it. And bring them in. I just gave money. You should as well. Well, guess what? We will two thousand dollars i mean that might pay for a week what about the rest of the month and what about the rest of the year and the lifetime that they're here two thousand dollars i mean why don't you just have a move in with you i gotta tell you this is silly our neighbor to the south ain't gonna like us because we have all of these people now who will be saying we're gonna go across the border maybe we can do bad things even if it's good things the potential for bad things it's there it ain't right i mean you got 10 percent of canadians or more they can't find work and it's getting to be a bigger number all of the time and you got this wacko new prime minister guy i think he needs his bank and bringing him into the country ah then you got people like this saying come on i gave a check you should too i appreciate the opportunity to reflect in the meaning of welcoming refugees in canada again yeah. There's millions of them. I mean, you're only going to bring in a few. What about the rest? Why don't you help them over there? Send your $2,000 there. And by the way, if you want to pay, that's your deal. But <laughs> what you're saying is I got to pay too, and I got to pay more than you. I'm talking about this little lady in Halifax. There's a whole bunch of other people like her too. You know what? Where does it stop? Where does it start? Refugees, two houses, mine. I have many kids in this high unemployment, no money. I mean, then I bring a bunch of other kids into my house, and everybody in my house starves. I mean, come on already. There's a little bit of a depression going on. Don't we know it? We do need to help them. I get it. Back to this thing with the two houses. Send some food over. Bake them a pie. Come on, let's have a safe zone over there for me. Even give them guns, they should be able to look after themselves. But don't bring them here, please. Ontario, it's the largest sub-national debtor. Are you still listening here? i got to say this slower. This is pretty important stuff. Ontario, this is the province that's on welfare. Alberta, and Alberta won't be doing this much longer, has been supporting them for a whole bunch of years, billions of dollars, right? Because they're ran by wackos and they give everything away and they lose it and uh, they lose billions. Now back to the topic here. They're the largest sub-national debtor in the entire world in the world. Its debt is more than twice that of California. And California has three times the population. And California's got all kinds of money problems and everything else in Ontario. They win. What is going on here? That's leftism. That's stupidism. How can that be fixed? I tell you, you got to deport a bunch of your own people. Maybe that'll do it. I don't know. There's three groups of people. You got the takers, the payers, and the preparers. The preparers are those liberal people who take our money, and the payers are us, the normal people who put the money out there. And of course, the takers are those who just say, isn't this fun? I mean, now the government is talking about having guaranteed incomes for people. I'm talking Canada here now, but you know what happens in Canada kind of goes out into other countries as Ugh, as well. Pardon me for the ugh. I had to throw that in because this stuff makes me crazy. It ain't right. Y'all come back tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to have more for you from the right. See ya.